out friends. Hey out friends. Guess what? We have got another mystery box. Yes. This one feels really, really light. <laughs> That's the mystery. There's nothing in it. Not really, like. <laughs> Today we'll be drawing with air. I mean, it looks like a shoe box. But it's, it really doesn't feel like the shoe's inside. I would say that's definitely a shoe box. Do you want to know the theme? Because I know the theme of this one. What's and there's the a very there's a very good reason why you are holding it. Mm -hmm. Because this is apparently a girl themed anime and manga mystery box. Oh! Yeah. I never knew that. Yeah, so this is themed all around oh. girls, apparently. Oh, I'm a girl. Okay. <laughs> I can open this. Oh, I'm really excited. <laughs> <laughs> so this is why I wanted you to open this one because it's, it's apparently themed around things that you're gonna love. I hope I recognize the references because I didn't do very well with the game in box. <laughs> <laughs> Are you even in this yet? <laughs> no. I want in though. I imagine you can just lift it off when the tapes. Yeah, but there's too much tape. <laughs> it's all taped up. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. Oh whoa. We've got one corner free. I didn't realise the struggle would be so real with this. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, I think this is one half. Huh? <gasps> yeah, I can I can stick my hand in and it can be a mystery. Oh, okay, then cool. First item. Okay, it feels like an envelope. Uh -oh. I'm guessing it's a birthday card. An anime birthday card. What do you card. think it is, guys? Girl's lucky box. Well, that's an envelope. I hope it's not gonna like spoil. Oh, do you want me to do you want me to have a look? Because it says thank you. Do you want me to have a look inside it first? Okay, you can have a peek. And if it ruins the surprise, don't tell me. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna have a quick look off camera as well because I don't want to ruin it for you guys. I I seen an anime name that I recognise, so okay. I think that does tell you what they are. So I'm not looking at it. I found like a cardboard sleeve. Okay. It feels like a brochure <laughs> to a really a brochure location that was once featured in an anime. I wasn't far off. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> oh, that's um. I recognise those. Uh, that's uh, Attack on Titan, I think. Oh, everyone talks about that in our comments all the time. <laughs> well, this one's for you guys. <laughs> what is it? Uh, I think they're like long stickers. Attack on Titan. We've never seen this, but yeah, you jealous yet, guys? <laughs> Look at all these stickers I'll never use. So is that like a really girly anime? <laughs> well, that's the thing, right? We don't know anything about it, guys. I was under the impression it was quite violent. Super cute. <laughs> <laughs> Next cute item, please. Okay, it feels like a box. Oh, a box. Okay, that's good. Oh, oh. What's this? Oh, it's like a keychain. I have no idea what that's from, though. What? Guys, if you <laughs> recognise what this is from, let us know. I'll check the card when you've opened them all, but... A keychain, that's handy, right? Cool! I thought it was going to be like a box of washi tape when I first... Oh, that would have been exciting. Yeah. But hey, a keychain's useful. That's cute. Next cute There's item! so much of this stuff, I think that's what we could hear inside. <laughs> is that part of the mystery? Oh, oh my god! god. Oh, you look like a cheerleader! <laughs> Okay, this feels like a bag of novelty erasers. Oh. Let's see if I'm right. Is it a keychain? It's some kind of intense anime thing, but oh my god, look at the clip on the back of that. It's an intense anime peg. It looks lethal. Oh, they, they look friendly. Is it baseball? Yeah, it looks like a baseball outfit. A lot of this is wasted on us. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but that's interesting. What is, what is that? It's like a big figure. A big figure? What? It's like an acrylic figure that looks like it, it slots into like a little stand. Who are you? And then it stands up. I'm so glad we got that card. That explains what everything is. Yeah. Let's, let's see if we can get, get into you. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> Come on! Be brave! Oh, she didn't want it. <laughs> nope. There we go. Okay. <laughs> there! What is that from? I don't know, I imagine it's to like put on your windowsill or something. Yay, I got her in focus. There you go, guys. You are welcome. Bonus points if you know what this person is from. Feel free to screenshot it and use it as your phone wallpaper. He's like, can I be your boyfriend? <laughs> Feel free to screenshot this and use it as your wallpaper. Feel free to be my boyfriend. <laughs> well, he's really clingy. <laughs> yeah, he's so clingy as a massive clip attached to the back of his head. <laughs> Please don't leave me! Would you be interested in getting any of the items out? I can't, hey, if you want me to. It feels like a really exciting raffle box. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, because it's full of tissue paper. I think this is the last thing. I think you are right. What do you think it's going to be? Um, 
I think this is gonna be something hair related. <gasps> Who are you? I think it's just like a badge. A badge? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's got like a clip on the back. What's on the front? Well, it's my good friend, uh, Masaharu <laughs> uh, Neo. <laughs> my favorite anime character. Yay! <laughs> I don't actually know who it is. <laughs> He's been through some stuff. He's got bandages on his face and everything. Guys, I'm gonna put a poll up here if this is your favorite anime character. Let us know. Who is Masa? What's your name? <laughs> Masaharu. Okay, let me, let me read. Thank you for your purchase of this a girl's lucky box. I hope you get the items. Well, we did. Oh, right, okay. Uh, Masahiro, our good friend here. He is from Prince of Tennis. Prince of Tennis? Prince of Tennis, yeah. That sounds incredible. Uh, ah, this stuff keeps sticking to me. Sure, sure, There's apparently sure. a Detective Conan multi-character pencil board. Ah. <laughs> A pencil board. I think we're missing something. Is there something still in this box? Are we missing Let's something? get in this box. Come on. Oh. We What's were this? missing something. What is it? it? It's a Detective Conan drawing board. Do you draw on it? I think so, yeah. It's pretty sturdy. I'd feel mean drawing on his... On yeah, I know, that's what I mean. On his face. Don't know much about this guy either. Got a big head though. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. That's yeah, such a useful I might thing. even use that, even yeah, though I don't know who it's really about. <laughs> okay, that is officially everything, though. That is everything. I want to give everyone a really cool slow pan of this. <laughs> How's this idea coming along? <laughs> I think it's coming together. I want your uh, advice, though. Uh, what kind of hair do you think this lady should have that I'm doing? That hair. Which, which one am I looking at? This one. This one, this little lady. Yeah. Ooh, I'll try my best. You might not see it completely <laughs> with what I've got, but I'll try and squeeze it in. I might have to do some explaining with this character. Yeah, so. I think I'm gonna have to as well. This is a lady that likes dressing in traditional Japanese clothes, like that figure. Oh, okay. Right there. She's also a part-time detective. <laughs> Who's really passionate about tennis, but she also likes wearing a baseball hat. <laughs> I'm kind of going with a similar story. Really? Seriously? What have you got so far? <laughs> so what's the big idea with yours? Because I have no idea what the heck I should do. <laughs> <laughs> so I've stole her hair. <laughs> you've, you've literally snatched her wig. Yeah. I've <laughs> stolen her hair. I've stole his glasses, so that's two things. Oh no, not so Conan's far. glasses. It's like Conan. <laughs> well, he looks like the most detective guy there, so I'm gonna I'm gonna say it is. And then I stole the bread from Attack on Titan and made toast with it. Toast detective. That's awesome. <laughs> and I haven't figured out how to incorporate anything else yet. <laughs> is she investigating why it always lands butter side down? <laughs> <laughs> there is something suspicious afoot. I must taste the evidence. So far, she looks like Velma from Scooby Doo, which is probably the least anime character. <laughs> Oh, world. but she was like a detective girl too. That's true. Okay, well, she's on a mystery to find Scooby-Doo. <laughs> so, you, so you're like saying, I was inspired by this cute mystery box to draw Velma eating toast. Yeah. <laughs> I need clothing inspo now. That's why I kind of defaulted to uh, this person. Well, these people dress really fancy. Okay, she can wear a blazer, I guess. <laughs> a blazer? Where did you get the blazer from? She could wear a baseball outfit. Like uh, like our little clip friend down here. No, she wants to wear this. She had a, like a pot of jam in there. I don't think it's... Is she like a jam smuggler? What's it? <laughs> it's for her bread. <laughs> oh, maybe it is, yeah. It's like, you want some jam? I mean, sure, I, I know for a fact some of you guys must have watched Attack on Titan. So if you can help us, who is this character and why is she smuggling jam? <laughs> <laughs> these are answers we need to know. P.S. Look how sparkly these boys are. Oh, those boys are fabulous. Look at that. Ooh. Wow. Are they like, oh wow, yeah, they're like holographic, holographic boys. The future yes. is now. <laughs> oh, we could have drawn holographic boys. That would have been cool. I'm sure the future will exist in our lifetime. <laughs> Seen that guy. Oh, he's, um, I know he's a Titan. That's what they go after. You know, attack on Titan. They attack said Titan. He's just like a muscle man. Yeah, he doesn't have skin. Why would they do that? That's so mean. He's probably in pain all the time. <laughs> So that was our little jammy fiend coming along. Yeah, I'm just trying to draw a shove in this toast into her mouth. <laughs> That's such an anime thing though, because like Sailor Moon used to have toast. She was really cute. I am genuinely quite surprised that we didn't get anything there, Sailor Moon thing. Yeah, I what thought there doing? might be something magical girl with it being like a girl's anime 
bugs. I love the idea of a detective that tries to solve food-related mysteries, but she gets hungry and eats the evidence. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like someone I know. Oh no. <laughs> Yeah, if you, if you ever cut your hair into a bob and you solved food-related mysteries, it's like, another case can never be solved because I ate the evidence. <laughs> that would happen every day at work. <laughs> I'd probably get fired. You know, everyone used to laugh at me when I used to work in a pretzel place because quite a lot of food would go to, like, waste. Mm. I couldn't bear the idea of waste in a pretzel. <laughs> so every single one, once it had been on display for, like, too long, it was perfectly fine to eat, but it needed, like, Eating. throwing away or whatever. Mm. I'd put it in, like, a, a paper bag, and by the time that I was going home at the end of the day, I'd have tons and tons of carrier bags of about 30 or, like, 50 <laughs> pretzels. My food for the month! <laughs> <laughs> I basically did live on pretzels when I was in that place. <laughs> oh, you are, you are, like, our little food detective. I think that's really sweet. Oh, we got some legs going in. Yeah, I, I really like these big fancy boats so she can have some of those. <laughs> oh, you mean inspired by the sparkly boys? Yeah. Oh, that makes me happy. I might make her pants holographic as well. Hello, pants. <laughs> oh, are you winking? Yes. Is she thinking about a tennis ball? Yeah, because you know how yours is like, unfortunately, she eats the evidence. Yeah. Well, my detective's really bad in because she's really passionate about tennis, she tries to find a tennis link in every like, mystery <laughs> she tries to solve. So she's like, maybe they were curled with a tennis ball. You know, you guys, if you want to join in and draw something... Yeah, totally, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you're inspired by any of, these, any of these items and you've got an idea, tag us in it. You, you yeah. have more to do. I mean, if, if this has inspired you... Oh, <laughs> Richard just fell off. <laughs> if this has inspired you, if this has inspired you, draw something. Join in. <laughs> Yeah, we love it when you guys join in. Put that back up. Oh, I did some holographic pants, do you want to see? Yeah, show me them. I'm going to have fun colouring these in. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, they're super sparkly. I love even the fabulousness of her pants still can't distract her from her jam sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Mm. <laughs> Nothing's becoming between me and my sandwich. I think whoever drew these holographic boys really didn't like drawing legs or shoes. Okay, why? The lower half of the torso in general. <laughs> what? It looks like it's been copied and pasted on every single character. Holographic boys now complete with interchangeable legs. <laughs> they do look similar, yeah. Literally, you could just like swap them out for each other. And the only thing that's different is that they've just been like made smaller. Right, I want to see you ink some things. Oh yeah, so these are the pens that we're using today. Oh, these are the mangaka yeah, ones. Yeah, we've got both of them in, so as you can see, this one's like a sepia one, and this one is a black one. Ooh, okay. Which one are you going to use? I'm going to use the sepia one, because you've already started using the oh, oh, oh. one. And uh, I really like that the barrel looks really glittery. Oh yeah, I can see it, yeah. It's like Ooh, a, fancy. a night sky. Is it like your cat in the moon pyjamas? We'll post that somewhere if you guys are like, what? It's quite um, a dark brown ink, but if you see it next to the black one, you can definitely tell the difference yeah. between the two. We'll show, you a, we'll show you guys a little comparison when we've done them both. I can make out that's quite a nice brown. It reminds oh, that's me, good. It reminds me of like old photographs. Yeah, that's what it reminds me of as well. I use it in quite a lot of my art at the moment. I always feel like a character comes more to life when you colour in the pupils. Yeah, yeah. I'm definitely getting like an attack on... I was going to say Velma. An attack, attack on... on Velma. <laughs> that sounds terrifying. Oh I was going to say an attack on Titan Velma vibe. There we go. <laughs> Please don't attack Velma, she's sweet. I need to colour her in. Oh, I like your lines. Oh, nice. And the plan's going to be... I'm going to mostly try and use whatever stuff I've got in my pencil case already so I don't have to dig around the house for where <laughs> I've hidden all my markers at the moment. Okay, okay, yeah. And I want to do a lower half really sparkly. Uh-huh. And then her top half can't be sparkly because that's safe for the lower legs. It's all about the legs with this character. Yeah. So okay. I'll try this ink wash for her hair because I'm trying to replicate that colour that this... Oh, that lovely lady over there. Had. Yeah, and I think this might be close-ish. It's looking a bit darker than I remember it. That's really dark. I know. <laughs> what? That's so dark. What? It might dry a bit later. Oh, okay. I hope. <laughs> I want it to be like this lady's hair. Oh, wait, no. Watch okay. me just lose all my line yeah, work. Yeah, I was going to say all that hard work. I could swear this used to be lighter. <laughs> well, the cap looks pretty light. That's really weird. Yeah, I know. It's misleading. 
I guess, like, yeah, like you said, you could leave some white to show, like... Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do, just to sort of separate the fringe. Yeah, those are some mild-looking liners you got there. Yeah, I've picked out some pretty holographic-looking colours. Oh, now... oh, oh, it's time for the pants. Yeah, the main event. Oh, oh I'm you make it... to do this. I get what you're doing. Yeah, I'm trying to, like, replicate what happens when you go like this. Look at this holographic so, boy. There's so many colours in it. It's like, you want pants like these. It takes years of copying and pasting to achieve <laughs> <laughs> to achieve holographic pants like these. Oh, they're really cute. They're like, at the, at the minute, they look like really 90s pants. Yeah, they do a bit. Like really polka dot. Let's get in. They kind of look like wellies. Yeah, welly boats. It's making me really want like a birthday cake. Yeah. It reminds me of those, we tried recently, um, confetti cupcake oh, pop tarts. Pop tarts, yeah. Yeah, it looks good. Oh, like those. you've made me want some so bad. <laughs> those were good. Do we have any pop tarts left? Nope. Cruel world! <laughs> I keep buying pop tarts in and Adam eats them all. <laughs> I like the pop tarts. <laughs> you can buy my next box. <laughs> oh, that's fair. Okay. I'll get the next ones. Don't forget to like the video, guys, if you want to see more mystery boxes, and subscribe if you haven't already, because I love you. I'm going to post a mystery video somewhere near my face, so be sure to check that out if you haven't already. And we'll see you next time for another Doodle Dead. Doodle Dead. See you guys. Bye. Bye.